Anyways, this is I'm the Green Man with Farmers Market on Demand. We're at Old Town Farmers Market today. I'm at the booth for St. Anthony's Greek Orthodox Monastery with Katia. Yeah. She's so awesome, and she's gonna let us try some great stuff. So, can you tell us a little bit about the monastery? Sure. Do you know a little history about that at all? Or? Yeah, absolutely. The monastery's been there about 20 years now. There's about 50 monks. Um, wow. Greek, Canadian, American, um, and they actually pick, grow, and produce all of the things you see here on this table. So they have thousands of olive trees. They're actually right now, as we speak, picking and pressing olive oil. So they do all their own pressing on site. They have their own press. They have olives, of course. Um, they have moringa trees, which, as you know, moringa is a superfood. It's an amazingly highly nutritional plant. They have moringa trees. They dry the leaves and actually make moringa powder. Folks put them in smoothies. We also make uh, moringa bars. The monks actually make their own energy bars using moringa. And then, of course, seasonally, we have the, the citrus. This right now, we're just starting lemons, but we have oranges, grapefruits anyway amazing produce and then as you move on down here we have the hot sauce which they actually grow their own peppers and make their own hot sauce um, they do use some of the olive oil in the hot sauce it's amazing it won an award um, it was one of the top five hot sauces so anywho that's really good and they have a, a smoked one where they actually smoke the peppers out outdoors in a smoker so and then they have herbs um, all the herbs they grow on site as well so we've got all of olive oil hot sauce moringa and what else can I tell you? <laughs> oh man, this is so great. It's kind of overwhelming even for me. These are all things I'd love to eat. Um, so they, how many, do you know about how many trees they have up there of moringa? I mean, that stuff that grows so fast. Yeah, about a hundreds of trees actually. And they keep planting more. And moringa, actually we sell the seeds. If you want to grow your own tree, it grows really well here. Only needs 10 uh, inches of water a year. So it's like the plant for Arizona for anywhere I mean it's the miracle it's that this miracle. thing provides so much yeah. and it only asks so little it just keeps giving and giving and you can hack it all the way to the ground yeah. and it'll just come back and you can eat the whole tree so you can eat the branches the leaves the seeds everything so even the roots even the roots mm -hmm. yeah absolutely it's amazing so yeah and the monastery actually had a surplus of moringa this year so the just a pound of it is only 15 and then uh, I'm buying some I'm buying some okay. oh so my god really how much do you have I, more moringa than we can shake a stick at. <laughs> oh yeah, guys, come get this. That's an amazing price. Yeah. You can't even buy it online for that price. And the thing is, when you buy this stuff online, a lot of it's coming from other countries where they process it using um, machinery that could end up getting heavy metals in there. I, I found some that actually had pharmaceuticals added in to make up for some of the weight. So you want to get it local, know where it's coming from. This is a great, oh man, I'm so excited to yeah, know about this. Totally, and organic, no insecticides, no pesticides. Everything at the monastery is grown naturally. So. Well, when I heard about it, and I'm like, oh, it's in Florence, I'm never going to go there. I didn't really look into it at all, and I was just like, oh, Florence is so far away, and blah, blah, blah. You know, I make all these excuses. So. Yeah. I had no idea you guys were here. I'm so excited that you are. Thank yeah. you so much for being here. Yeah, and the monastery is actually open to the public, so people can come any day between 10 and 2. You can either go on a self-guided tour or have a monk show you around. So it's pretty cool. It's definitely worth the drive. Oh, wow. All right. So I'm pr whoever wants to go out there for a day, you know, seriously, comment on here. Well, let's make a trip out of it. I want to go. <laughs> I want to see these guys. I want to see the olive trees. I love olives. I love olive oil. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. What? I want to really sample, you had a bar set aside for me, right? Yeah, Moringa Bar. Um, this is a bar made with organic figs, uh, dates, almonds, pumpkin seeds, we, the monastery honey, which we don't have today, and then Moringa powder. So I'm going to go ahead and let you try it. It's very healthy. So um, yeah, it's, it's not candy. It's very good for you. It'll, it'll pack a punch and last a while. So it's right over here. I'll go ahead and grab a bar and see what you think. Oh, I'm really excited. I See, the thing is like, Things that people think don't taste good, I think taste good. Like I'm into, I've really made my palate um, around being healthy. So, and I love moringa. Like if there's moringa in anything, I'll just love it. So, okay. Okay. Uh, um, do you know? So kind of, do you know why they make them with all these ingredients, or is it just because of the stuff they have? Or um, I just think that the um, the abbot of our monastery is very health conscious and very into cooking and natural foods, and he I think designed the the actual. Um, so it's divinely inspired, <laughs> a divinely inspired recipe. Okay, so. this does taste really good. Uh, yeah, you were way <laughs> underselling it. This is this is good, guys. If you are, if you do eat healthy, this is 
better than a La Raw bar. Yeah, I think I, I try to explain that it's like a Lara bar, but you get uh, three of them and it's five bucks and it's all organic and natural, made by monks. So I'm glad I brought extra money today because <laughs> I normally only like spend 20 bucks when I come and okay. now we'll I brought extra. Yeah, we'll hook you up. <laughs> so like, yeah, I'm definitely going to get some Moringa powder. I just ran out. I've been using it very sparingly, <laughs> like just putting a very small yeah, amount. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. Here, Allison, you got, you'll love it. That's my sister. Oh, okay. You know that? Yeah, yeah. no, I didn't know that, but now I see. Yeah. Um, hey, has anybody got any questions for her before? Um, is there anything else I can sample? Uh, or I don't want to, like, make you open something. Oh, you got nuts. Yeah, we actually have sprouted nuts. The monastery actually gets um, organic nuts. And they get those from a farm in California, and then they actually soak and sprout their nuts, which is really much better on the nutrition digestion. So we've got a sprouted almond here. Those are very light. The texture is very light. So tell us what you think. Where do the almonds come from, they typically? Come from um, an organic grower in California, really hard to find. Actually, a purely organic nut provider. So that was, yeah, so they're light. Um, they're Himalayan sea salt, and then we have a Okay, so I'll also let you try the olive oil that we're most known for. A lot of um, restaurants locally buy our olive oil. It's it's very nice. It's robust. It's it's delicious. So they've done a way better job with this sprouting almond. I'm I must be just be bad at it. I I sprout almonds. I never they never taste like this good. They put the right amount of salt on there. Yeah, it's um, awesome. But yeah, sprout, I've noticed too. When you buy a bag of nuts that haven't been sprouted and you, you can eat them all, and you don't feel like satiated, but when you sprout them and you you can eat just a small handful and you feel like you had a, a good snack, yeah. like you're, you're good to get to the next meal. So this is the olive oil that the monastery is most well known for. Um, used to be available at um, Sing Farm, which is closed oh. now, so we are actually, yeah, it's very nice. If you're a foodie, you'll love the olive oil. It's very nice. It's very flavorful. And they're actually picking and pressing right now, so it'll be very fresh very soon. This is so delicious. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, awesome. Thank you for coming. Okay, so how much is a bottle of... This guy is eight fifty, and then the larger size is 24 And if you bring us a gallon, we will fill it for you. If you bring, like, your own jar, we'll fill it for 56 I do that. I like bringing my own jars, so I'll yeah. totally. And um, so, is this here, or do I have to make sure you guys bring oil? Uh, or you just bring your container, and then I'll take care of it, and I'll see you next week. Okay, got it. So you take it and go yeah. fill it up for me. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely gonna do that. So I'll be. <laughs> we'll see you again. <laughs> yeah, man. Wow. So thank you so much. Is there anything? Um, are you guys gonna be at any events or anything coming up that's special? Um, we are also at Roadrunner Farmers Market, and we will be at the Capital Farmers Market as well when that starts in downtown. But um, we occasionally are asked to do events, and we will if we can. So, but pretty much Roadrunner in Scottsdale, and Capital. Great. Well, Katya, it's such a pleasure to meet yeah, you. Me too. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm so glad you were very good. Okay. Awesome job. That was awesome. Okay. Very good.